there ladies, it's Manisha here. Welcome back to my channel. So today I have for you a very easy titled design. I really struggled trying to think of something and in the end I just called it Lilac Dragon. So it's an Asian um, themed mini. And these are the polishes I'll be using. So as usual, I'll have all the information and if I've got them, direct links for you down in the description box below. I'll also have any discount codes um, too for you. So definitely have a look if you're interested in buying any of the products that I've used today. There's lots of polishes, as you can see. <laughs> and I'm going to be using one of my beloved Hee Hee plates. So this is um, 097 as well as a Born Pretty Store stamper. And so straight in with the design, so I'm just going to be showing you on some pop sticks today, on some practice nails. And I'm going to be doing one coat of that Sally Hansen Lilac Coloured Polish. And I'm going to be doing a gradient, but instead of a sponge gradient, I'm actually just going to be doing one with my fan brush. So um, this is a different way, I don't, you know, you've probably already seen it done before, but it's not a new technique, it's been out for a while, but it's just a different way of doing a gradient other than a sponge. Now when you do it with a sponge, it's usually a lot smoother, so this one, do bear in mind, it can have some brush strokes still showing through, but for the design I was doing today, um, I actually liked that part of it, if that, if that makes sense, I didn't want a really, really smooth, um, gradient I sort of wanted one that had a bit more texture if that makes sense yeah so you'll sort of see when I finished it what I mean so that's basically it's a really fast way of doing a, um, a gradient just a different way of doing one so that's actually had a chance to dry and I'm going to be using that wet and wild polish to um, stamp on this um, what are they clouds and the reason I didn't use a white stamping polish is because I didn't want a really crisp bold white image I just wanted something that was quite subtle so um, definitely worth going through your polish selection ladies if you're wanting something that you're just going to use as a pattern in the background you can actually just use regular polish it's just that some of them aren't very pigmented and that's why we tend to use stamping polishes for stamping so you can actually still use regular polish as well so this is the dragon image that I put on my thumb and my ring finger and he's just um, there so I'm just going to stamp him on the bottom of the nail just at a slight angle just to get him to fit and then on the other nails the center nails I actually did this and I've got no idea what this pattern thing is here but that's what I did anyway <laughs> with with that Nicole Diary um, pink color as you can see here so just clean off any unwanted parts before you go ahead and stamp um, but yeah, like I said before, definitely check out your nail polishes that you've got. If you've got some that are getting pretty old, they can be quite good for stamping too because they get a lot thicker and um, they, you know, give you a bit more coverage. And then I did actually go ahead and apply a coat of Sesh Feet, which um, I don't know what I was doing when I was recording, but I think I pressed record and I was actually pressing stop. So I didn't have any um, viable um, video footage for you, so I do apologise for that. But yeah, I just applied a coat of Sesh Feet, but any... Good quality top coat will do and that's basically the de um, finished design there so i do hope you like it if you have any comments or questions leave them down um, below for me i'd love to hear from you and apart from that thanks for stopping by if you haven't done so already definitely subscribe to my channel too i do um two to three weekly uploads and i'm also on instagram so my um, instagram account link is down below too for you and i hope you all have an absolutely wonderful day wherever you are bye for now